to keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. On March 11th, U.S. President Donald Trump made an announcement on national television that caught many by surprise, especially the European Union. The European Union disapproves of the fact that the U.S. decision to impose a travel ban was taken unilaterally and without consultation. So will travel bans ever be effective during a health emergency? Is there even a point? Travel bans uh, like this one don't work because when people want to travel, they find ways of doing so. And it's best when people travel through official channels where they can be quickly identified and those who come into contact with them can be identified for potential quarantine. The challenge is um, borders in our globalized society are just not as sealed as um, many people think. Um, the challenge if we encourage travel through unofficial means, it actually undermines the whole process. Uh, and so in that respect, uh, any uh, stop on official travel just encourages more unofficial travel, leaving a whole lot of people in a very bad situation in the process. The ban applies to foreign nationals who've traveled from Schengen area, which consists of 26 European countries, 14 days prior to their arrival in the U.S. American citizens, their immediate family members and legal permanent residents are not affected by this ban. But travelers who are returning back to the U.S. from Europe will have to go through a screening process before entering the U.S. and will be asked to self-quarantine for 14 days. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.